Somewhat unexpectedly, the Korean side of the Genesis Motor Corporation suddenly released a ton of new photos of the upcoming Genesis G70. This has been their hotly anticipated compact luxury crossover. So this is the Genesis that's going to be competing very directly with the BMW X3, the Mercedes-Benz GLC, and the Lexus NX. The GV80 is their larger model that's competing with the Lexus RX in two and three row form, the BMW X5, the Mercedes-Benz GLE as well. The GV80 is actually a little bit more expensive than the Lexus RX, and I wouldn't be surprised if this new GV70 was a little bit more expensive than the Lexus NX, because like the rest of the Genesis lineup, this is going to be rear wheel drive as well. So dynamically, this is going to be much more similar to the BMW X3 and the Mercedes-Benz GLC. Of course, the Audi Q5 as well. Up front, the GV70 looks an awful lot like the GV80. You can see some subtle differences here and there with some slightly different trim on the headlamps, a slightly rounded front end grille. It's not quite as square as we see in the Genesis G90. That large Superman style grille that we saw in the G90 did disturb some folks. And I think it's been softened a little bit in the crossover lineup, both in the GV70 and in the GV80, which you can already buy right now in America. When you take a look at the side profile, you'll really notice that this is a rear wheel drive vehicle. You can definitely tell that by the proportions, the long hood there, the relatively more compact body than we would find comparatively in something like a Lexus NX. You'll also notice that it has kind of a rounded rear end, and this surprised me a little bit because that's definitely going to cut down on practicality as far as cargo space goes. This reminds me a little bit of the Infiniti FX, their two-row crossover from some time ago. You can see that we have the same sort of double headlamp and double tail lamp design on each side that we find in the GV80 and the G80, but we don't have the double side turn signals on the front fender that we find in those more expensive models. At the back, we have dual exhaust tips that look like the ones that we find in the GV80, only they've been rotated 90 degrees, or if you get the sport trim, then we get two large round exhausts in the back. Now, Genesis has not said anything on the Korean or the American site about the kind of engines that we'll find under the hood, but most likely it'll start with the new two and a half liter four cylinder turbo engine producing about 300 horsepower. And the optional engine probably in the sport trim is gonna be the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6, likely around 375 horsepower most likely the same configurations essentially that we see in the larger Genesis GV80. At least at some basic engineering level, all the Genesis models are related to one another. Hopping on the inside, you'll definitely see relationship between the GV70 and the GV80 in terms of styling. We find basically the same steering wheel in the base model. It's the two-spoke design that's been a little bit controversial in the GV80. And in this interior, it's a two-tone two-spoke steering wheel. Their paddle shifter is right there on the back. And I have to say, I'm really digging this purple and black black styling inside. Let me know what you think about that. I wouldn't be surprised if this interior color combo did not make it to America. However, it's probably likely that we are going to get some very boring color combinations like we see in most luxury cars that make their way to the US. It looks like the, the fun colors just never make it to America. The screen in the middle of the dashboard appears to be the same 14 and a half inch large touchscreen LCD that we find in the G80 and GV80. But the controller in the dashboard is a little bit different. It actually is a little bit taller rather than being the very flat profile one that we find in the GV80. And the climate controls definitely appear to be different. We have a what looks to be a touchscreen LCD right there in the middle, and then some physical knobs for the temperature on each side. A row of buttons across the bottom completes the look, and that does appear very similar to what we find in the rest of the Genesis lineup. It looks like we're going to get a full LCD instrument cluster. It's really hard to tell from some of these photos, but I wouldn't be surprised if the top end trims both on the luxury side and the sport side had that available 3D LCD instrument cluster that we find in the new G80 and GV80. I have to say I'm a little bit surprised that the interior styling isn't simply a scale version of the GV80. I think that would have given the lineup a little bit more of a harmonious look, but this interior definitely appears to be sportier themed. You can see that the climate controls are canted slightly towards the driver. There's a little bit less going on on the passenger side, just as you'd expect. It appears to have two large cup holders, decent amount of ambient lighting going all the way around, and some interesting touches here and there. You can see when you pan out that this particular model appears to have some suede and leather combination seats, some interesting trim on the doors. I'm not sure whether that's carbon fiber or not. But even if you take a look at the more luxury oriented interiors, it doesn't appear to have any wood going on in there. Although that said, I'm not exactly clear what the wavy thing going on on the doors is. That could be some sort of wood trim that's been stained silver or, or something along those lines. It wouldn't surprise me too much if we saw something like that. 
Now, at the moment, that's about all we know for the upcoming GV70. Most likely, it's going to be a 2022 GV70, probably on sale sometime in late 2021. They haven't made the official North American announcement for the GV70, so be sure and stay tuned for that video just as soon as I can get my hands on more detail. The Genesis North America side will likely start dribbling that out over the next month or so. But in the meantime, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so to stay tuned on all of our latest videos, including more information on the upcoming GV70. You can also check out our new merch store over at AOAMerch.com and you can get shirts right like this one for the exclusive trunk comfort index with some graphics on the side. I'll pop a picture here so you can see what it's like. You'll find those exclusively over at AOAMerch.com. Be sure and hit that notification button if you haven't already done so. And of course, check out Alex and Autos on all those social media channels. I'll see all of you later.